Hi, I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it, a life celebration. This is going to be a reading for Libra for the end of September 2022. Libra, um, I'm going to be doing your reading from the Dusta Onyx Tarot deck, and I will be using the Celtic Cross spread for you, Libra, for the end of September 2000. 22. Please uh, take a look at my website, KenyattaSintuition.com. There you find out more about my services and my rate for readings, Libra. All right, Libra. Get you some good shuffles in here, Libra. Celtic Cross reading for Libra for the end of September 2022. Libra Celtic Cross spread. Okay, Libra, one more shuffle, Libra, for the end of September 2022, the Celtic Cross. Okay, okay, you now, heart of the matter, six of blades, I won't be taking any reversals. Okay. Challenge or blockage, here we have the writer, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> all right next we have conscious goal little coin unknown influence here we have two of coins past influence three of coins approaching influence eight of gourds inner resource or talent the universe, how others see you, Libra, eight of coins, hope and or fears, seven of coins, and the outcome for Libra, ace of Gourds. All right, Libra. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's happening. Let's see you now, the heart of the matter, six of blades, I am hearing you know, I heard a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of distancing yourself, okay? You've moved on, okay, it's from some negative energies, okay? I mean, some very bad negative energies as well, Libra, okay? Uh, there is some wounding here, okay? Uh, fresh, okay? Or uh, if it's not fresh, it's something that I feel that you continue to uh, possibly ruminate over, okay? think about constantly okay can't put it away can't tuck it away can't let it heal you're not allowing yourself the time and the space to let it heal but although i feel like you have distanced yourself okay but you need time and space to heal okay space from um thinking like um you know you just it's just like a, a need for the overcoming of these things okay you're carrying a lot of this stuff a lot of the the Things that were made to cause you this pain, dysfunction, you're holding on to a lot of it, okay? And it's time to let it go. Again, the challenge here, here the writer, uh, moving on, okay? Moving on, okay? Surpassing it, going beyond it, healing yourself. That's part of the moving on, okay? You need to move on and heal yourself. Allow for healing to take place because it's not going to take place if you continue Okay, it's like to spin. I'm here to ruminate. Allow these things to just spin over and over again in your mind, okay? In your head space, okay? Without like doing anything about it, maybe counseling, therapy, whatever, okay? Some kind of healing process needs to take place. All right, conscious goal. You, well, hold on. Look at something here. I feel like you are moving on, okay, or you distanced yourself, rather. I don't want to say you're moving on. Uh, you possibly have moved yourself on from those that have done this to you or from the environment. But I feel like you are, um, oh boy. Okay, here we go. I am looking at my Vade Mecham with for the uh with that came with the uh Dusta Onyx deck. Okay, there it is. 
Mm, okay. I do feel, um, Libra, that you do want to grow, okay, beyond this. But even still, in in um, wanting to grow here, I feel like you you just the holding on to it is some of it is um, it's just like it. I want to say maybe anger, but I feel like you're in a space of wanting to grow to prove. Okay, to this collective or to this group, this environment that you have distanced yourself from to prove something to them. Like I'm going to show them. I'm going to prove myself to them. And I, this is keeping you um, young. <laughs> okay. Stagnant. The wound being uh, made fresh over and over again. The state of denial of the true amount of hurt may in depth possibly. Okay. As to, uh, 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 to prove to, to, to them, okay, as opposed to uh, the true growth that needs to take place for you. Okay, you are beyond them, beyond their reaches. Allow yourself to be. Possibly, why you may ask, why simply, maybe because simply you had the mind to uh, gather up your things. Okay, and recover, move, distance yourself. I gotta get the hell out of here. I have to get away from you all. Okay, conscious goal here balance. Okay, not conscious goal. I'm sorry. Unknown influence, the need, I'll say that, for balance. Okay. Simple. The need for balance in your life. I'm here like to have the things that you want without pain, pity. Okay. Don't I'm here like don't don't be looking for pity. Don't look for anyone to pity you. Okay. Because, you know, it is sad to say, but sometimes the reality is, you know, it's, it's a harsh statement. And I'm not saying it's 100% correct, but it's when people say no one cares, nobody cares. Okay. People care, but not enough to, uh, and probably few. Okay. And even still not enough to carry the weight for you or the pain for you or even with you. Okay. It's like I'm here. They will only carry it um, in in so far as much something like that as you will allow them to, or uh, something along those lines. Hold on, as they are allowed to for their own sake, their own life. Okay, they have a life to live as well. Okay. They have burdens to bear as well. They have healing that needs to take place for them as well. They have things to do as well. Okay. They, they're not going to make you a priority. Make yourself a priority. Okay. And bring the proper alignment. Bring the proper alignment to yourself. That is much needed. <clears throat> Past influence. I believe simply that whatever this collective was, Whatever this environment was, just, you know, feeling like you had to work with them or trying to work with them, okay? Live with them, live amongst them, okay? Be with them, okay? Carry them, walk with them, talk with them. In other words, simply being in that, you know, feeling like you had to be in that, in that community or not even feel like you had to be in that community, but the fact that you were a part of that community, Okay? And being a part of that community, absorbing everything, the belief system of that community, the lifestyle of that community. Now, it's time to make future plans. 
okay, and to let that go. Now you say, now it's time to make future plans. Kenyatta, I've, I've separated myself. Yes, but you are still holding on. Whether you have separated yourself physically or not, you are still holding on, okay? Making the wounds fresh, holding on to the things that you encountered that, you know, cause you to realize, hey, I got to get out of here, okay? This is bringing me some hurt, some dismay, some problems, okay? But you're still holding on to a lot of those issues. And not doing the healing work. Again, the wound is being made fresh. Approaching influence. Hmm. You, you, if you listen, if you do the work. <laughs> If you do the work, quit picking at that scab. Quit picking at the wound. Quit feeling like I'm, I'm doing this, I'm gonna prove to somebody. If you do the work, you will have sex successfully, okay, uh, moved on and allowed healing to come into your life and you will have a new outlook on life, a new perspective, a new understanding of life, a new worldview, simply a new way of being, a new being, a new life, a new you, a healed you, a more productive you. You will heal yourself and possibly others who are a part of this life or this lifestyle. And I am feeling that uh, it might be, it, it, it might be, and I don't think this is a family. Okay, I feel like it's an envir environment. And I feel as though drugs may have something to do with it. Okay. A lot. Okay. You have the ability to end and make new. You've walked away, but it hasn't ended because you're still holding on to it, still making the wound fresh, still picking at that scab, still bleeding. You have the ability to end it. and to, to allow things to be made new. Move in that direction. And I feel as though, Libra, that you are admired even. Now, you may say, who admires me coming from this? I don't know. But there is admiration here for you because they know you have the ability to do, to do this to walk away, to start again, to make anew. The ability resides in you, you work. You work at it. You are a thinker. And you know how to process uh, your thoughts. And not only process your thoughts and analyze your thoughts and pro process them once again, process them to uh, and, and into action. Not just words and words alone. And when you process these thoughts and turn them into action, um, it it becomes a um, it becomes prosperous for you. It becomes resourceful for you, a resource, okay, to be utilized. But I do see once again the possibility of helping others. who are coming from this kind of background. And I'm hearing you will. You will achieve that goal. But first, the healing resides in yourself. Your hope
minute for a second. Hold on. <laughs> I got two books. I got my tarot Bible and I got my, the, uh, I think I should have read Mecham for the Sonics. Okay. Let me see. I went right to it. Fear. is. I feel like your fears may be that you might give up or that you may not uh, succeed. Possibly a depression. All right. And I definitely feel a sense of a fear of being alone or abandonment. Okay, here that we see here. But I feel like your hope. I, I don't, I don't, it, it's not so much the hope based off the fears. Allow steady progress to be your guide. Persistence, okay. paying attention, attention to yourself, what you're doing, your thoughts, patience, and assessing yourself, your situation, where you have come from, where you are, and where you are going. The outcome. Again, if you do this work, it is all, you know, it's up to you, no matter what a reading says. If you do this work, you will obtain a lot. And I stated it twice and I will state it again. You will help others. You will have all the resources that you need, the inner resources that you need to be a viable, um, I, I, I'm hearing the word, but I can't make it out, just a great help. To others who are in need who are in need of this kind of guidance who are in need of this kind of assistance and they are out there and they are waiting for the help real true honest sincere uh, assistance but you must do this with yourself first i certainly hope that resonated with some libra i ask that you all like share and subscribe to those who have subscribed to my channel thank you if you have not but you watch my videos hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell thumbs up comment come over see what's happening here at let's get into it you all be blessed peace